Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. A few weeks ago, there were serious rumors flying around about OpenAI and their strawberry reasoning model. The quick TLDR on all of this goes all the way back to around Sam Altman's firing when there was speculation that part of the reason that people had gotten spooked internally was a new technical breakthrough around a reasoning AI that they were calling QSTAR. A few months later, QSTAR was reported to be renamed Strawberry, and at some point over the last month and a half or so, Sam Altman and others from OpenAI started posting pictures of strawberries on Twitter. There was also a new theoretical leaker who emerged, making all sorts of prognostications around forthcoming information, which, by the way, never materialized. Ultimately, all of that dissipated, but now we have some actual sourced information in an exclusive report from the information. The piece reads, OpenAI races to launch Strawberry Reasoning AI to boost chatbot business. So what is going on here? First of all, let's talk about the new information we have about Strawberry. The examples that the information gives, which are sourced from two people who have been involved in the effort with Strawberry, are that it can do things like solving math problems that it hasn't seen before, solving complex problems involving programming, solve the New York Times connections, a complex word puzzle, or reason to create more comprehensive answers around subjective topics, such as product marketing strategy. The next bit of information from this report is that Strawberry could be coming as soon as this fall that it appears that the race is on to release this, possibly within ChatGPT. A third interesting piece of information is that it appears that part of the reason that they're so eager to get Strawberry online is in order to improve upon GPT-4. We have a new codename for a new OpenAI flagship LLM, and that codename is Orion. One of the people who talked with the information said that OpenAI is using a big version of Strawberry to generate data for training Orion. In other words, if OpenAI is facing limitations in obtaining enough high-quality data to train Orion, they're looking to synthetically created data from Strawberry to fill in that gap. Strawberry is also seen as a potential aid for upcoming OpenAI agents, according to these sources. Of course, this is another frontier that is opening up in this battle, with agents widely expected to, at some point, represent another phase change when it comes to what generative AI can do. Now, another interesting part of the framing of this piece is that they set up a certain urgency around how this could help with a new fundraising process. Despite OpenAI being the most monetarily successful generative AI product in ChatGPT, it's still widely suspected to be operating at a loss. The tone throughout this piece is very different than something we've seen around OpenAI before, which is a recognition that expectations are exceedingly high on whatever they call their post-GPT-4 model, and that the company's destiny could actually be tied up in how successful it is or not. For example, OpenAI's prospects rest in part on the eventual launch of a new flagship LLM. That model seeks to improve upon its existing flagship LLM, GPT-4. By now, other rivals have launched LLMs that perform roughly as well as GPT-4. Later in the piece they write, expectations are running high for Orion as OpenAI looks to stay ahead of its rivals and continue its remarkable revenue growth. Earlier this month, for instance, Google beat OpenAI to launch an AI-powered voice assistant flexible enough to handle interruptions and sudden topic changes from users, despite OpenAI first announcing its version in May. Now, nothing in this piece says explicitly that OpenAI is actually out fundraising, and it's entirely possible that the tone of urgency comes just from the reporters, not from their sources. However, it is also possible that the sources themselves express the sort of nervousness that might be more emblematic of what's going on behind the scenes at OpenAI. Now, one more piece of the story that was interesting, in a separate post on the information, the publication reported that the company had shown Strawberry to the federal government. From the post, this summer, Sam Altman's team demonstrated Strawberry to American national security officials, said a person with direct knowledge of those meetings. As the information notes, quote, by demonstrating an unreleased technology to government officials, OpenAI could be setting a new standard for AI developers, especially as advanced AI increasingly becomes a national security concern. The demonstration could be part of OpenAI's push to be more transparent with policymakers who could cause the company problems if they feel threatened by its technology. However, they also point out, quote, the demonstrations also likely have another purpose, starting a conversation with officials about how the company can secure the technology so that foreign adversaries like China can't steal it, and maybe also take a shot at meta platforms for releasing open-weight AI that China and everyone else can access. This is obviously extra interesting in the context of the larger debate around SB 1047 and what the appropriate relationship is between regulators and models. Is it also possible that part of OpenAI's logic is to show that if the big frontier labs are engaged in this way with the government, particularly around concerns around national security, does it buy the whole industry time for everyone to learn a little bit more about AI before we go off and regulate it? Not sure, but it's an interesting point of speculation. 
Last note, for those of you who are keeping track of who the real leakers are out there, AI for Success on Twitter reposted a tweet from leaker Jimmy Apples from back in November with a picture of the Orion constellation and the caption, let's conquer the cosmos. Ashutosh writes, it's wild that Jimmy gave us a hint about OpenAI Orion last November. Jimmy is probably the only person I trust with OpenAI leaks. Anyways, friends, it seems like as fall is right around the corner, we may finally get more real information about Strawberry and even potentially the chance to get our hands on it. But for now, that is the story from here. Appreciate you listening as always. And until next time, peace.